filling in your eyebrows with a ruler, applying eyeshadow with a spoon, or doing your makeup in boxing gloves? It's easy! Watch in our new video, How to Do Your Makeup in a Weird Way. Welcome to a beauty and makeup pageant, Miss Perfect Cat Eye 2018. This is its respected jury, Miss Refined Rose and Madame Shaw. They know everything about beauty products and makeup, but this pageant goes to a new level. The contestants have to use unusual tools to apply makeup. The tools on hand join the beauty challenge, food versus school supplies. The jury has already picked out the contestants. Meet our first contestant, Miss Stella Triangle, a good A student, a queen of geometry, the winner of last year, Miss Logarithm Contest. She loves school and school supplies are her best friends. So when the jury calls and invites her to take part in the pageant, Stella agrees in no time. She has even a special dance of the winner. Miss Triangle is ready to compete. And here is our second contestant. Miss Delicia Pumpkin, Mama's Helper, a queen of a delicious dinner, the last year Miss Yummy nominee. She can even cook a cactus and make it delicious, and all the knives look up to her. When she hears the jury's invitation, she starts getting ready more thoroughly. Nothing will be able to resist her persistence, neither the food nor the rival. The girls are ready to fight. And it means that the beauty challenge, food versus school supplies, is going to begin. The jury announces the first round, applying foundation. Miss Pumpkin is ready for the challenge. It's easy peasy. She applies foundation to a peeled boiled egg. Put it on your face with a soft egg instead of a sponge. The egg doesn't soak up your foundation, making the application both easy and efficient. Your skin gets a kneaded tone in an instant. Miss Triangle has an inventive mind as well. She uses a whiteboard eraser. Squeeze out some foundation onto the whiteboard eraser and blend it out. It's really not that difficult. The jury judges the round. The judges like the egg more than the eraser. The score is 1 to 0 in Miss Pumpkin's favor. The second round, applying concealer. Stella is just writing down the task. She instantly finds an easy solution of using an eraser on a pencil. She squeezes some concealer on her fingers and applies it under her eyes. She blends it out carefully with the eraser. Ah! Even a little girl could cope with the job! Miss Pumpkin sighs with relief when she hears the terms of the round. It's just a piece of cake. She is going to use a mushroom technique to apply concealer. Put the makeup on a mushroom cap and dab it over your under eye area. A soft white mushroom has done a great job. Delicia's got a natural face tone. The jury evaluates the results. Who will get another precious point? Stella's pencil or Delicia's white mushroom? The jury is not really impressed by the eraser and Miss Pumpkin wins. Don't cry, Miss Triangle. You will be able to chase the score. We announce the third round. The challenge is to powder your nose. Stella thinks that she is the smartest one of all. She opens up a regular powder compact and takes out a soft puff. But Miss Rose wears these huge glasses not to look smart. She notices the contestant cheating, and she demands to take away the puff immediately. Stella has to obey, but what is she going to powder her face with? She searches through her arsenal. Bingo! There's a pencil with a DIY pom-pom. She doesn't need the lead, but the soft top is just the right thing. A fluffy pom-pom applies the face powder perfectly. She doesn't need a puff. <laughs> and Miss Pumpkin has still got no good idea. She makes a cup of tea to relax and finds the solution. The aromatic tea makes her fresh and inspires to solve the problem. Bingo! Why not use a tea bag as a puff? Apply your face powder to a dry tea bag and put the powder on your face. Miss Pumpkin feels like a true tea princess. The girls are looking forward to the results of the third round. It's good that their faces have been powdered, otherwise they would glow with an excitement. Miss Triangle gets the point for her creative solution. The score is 2 to 1, but Stella is still falling behind Delicia. What should she do? 
Her thirst for victory makes her commit a crime. She plots to steal one of Miss Pumpkin's tools, a kiwi fruit, for example. While Delicia is distracted, a cunning Stella is stealing a kiwi fruit from under her nose. Poor Miss Pumpkin! She fails to notice the missing thing at once. The jury announces the fourth round, contouring. Miss Triangle invents a way out in no time. She uses a clean paint palette. She finds a perfect position. Oh, she looks more like the Phantom of the Opera. Lift up the palette a little higher and hold it where your cheekbone is. Run your brush along the palette and voila, the contour is put in its place. Define your cheekbone on the other side in the same way. Miss Triangle tries using the palette for other areas, but she only manages to define her nose. She eventually refuses the idea. Her makeup look will only accent her cheekbones. Miss Pumpkin's idea is just as good. She uses a banana method for contouring. Dip your brush into powder. Hold a banana with its bent side near your cheekbone and define it along the banana. The jury likes this method. They even applaud. Maybe they just like bananas. Nevertheless, Miss Pumpkin wins this round. The score is 3 to 1. The jury is yawning. Oh, I mean announcing the fifth round. The challenge is to apply blush. Stella is ready to pull out a victory in this round. She sharpens her weapon. Wait, you'd better use the sharpener itself. Dip a round pencil sharpener with a dome-shaped lid into blush and define the apples of your cheeks. Blend it out a little bit. Done! Delicia wants to use a kiwi fruit, but Miss Triangle swiped it during the previous round. What a crafty girl! But Miss Pumpkin is a perfect cook. She always has a spare kiwi fruit in her makeup bag. She applies blush to her cheeks using the fruit. Check it out! The idea with a sharpener wins by common consent. Miss Triangle gets the point. Don't cry, Miss Pumpkin. The score is 3 to 2 in your favor anyway. Round 6. Highlighter. The jury decides to make the rules stricter in order to boost the rating. But the contestants aren't afraid of that. Miss Pumpkin is ready for the challenge. Miss Triangle fastens her boxing gloves too. Stella is going to apply the highlighter using the cap of a glue stick. This is not easy, but she manages to take the glue stick so that she could hold it in her glove. Maybe boxers also apply makeup sometimes to cover their black eyes. It is way harder to open up highlighter in these massive gloves. Even the teeth are put to use. Finally, the lid has given way. Miss Triangle dips the glue stick cap into the highlighter and does her makeup. The jury is impressed. The judges have never expect the boxing gloves to be so graceful. It's Miss Pumpkin's turn now. She barely manages to open up her highlighter and applies it to a tangerine. She puts the highlighter on her cheekbones and nose. Each girl is sure that her method is the best. Just have a look at how flawlessly defined Miss Triangle's cheekbone is. And it's the result of using school supplies. But let the jury decide which way is the best, by using the glue stick or the tangerine. The food method is good enough, but the jury decides that Miss Triangle is to win. Her job has been harder in this round. The score is 3-3. Three to three. Round 7. Fill in your brows. What can be easier? Stella's ruler is ready. Dip a brush into colored pressed powder. Place the ruler on top and fill in the entire brow evenly. Madame Shawl tries to repeat, but something is wrong. Either the angle is not correct or the ruler is crooked. Delicia chooses a different way. She fills in her brows using a fork. Miss Rose can't understand how she could do the makeup with a fork. Hey, judge, be careful. Don't let the fork poke you in the eye. It's easy. Place a fork so that your brow is between the prongs and fill in the brow along the line. Then follow the fork outline. Place it at the top edge of your brow and draw a straight line. Brush your brows up as the final touch. The jury likes the idea with a fork. The score is 4 to 3. Round 8. Apply eyeshadow. The girls have a spoon and a brush at their disposal. 
The only thing left is to decide who will be the first because there is only one mirror at the contest. The girls play rock, paper, scissors to choose who starts the round. Miss Triangle wins. The closer to the end, the tougher the fight turns. Stella gives up her paint as she's got regular eyeshadow. Is it a fair play? But the jury doesn't notice anything. Miss Triangle applies eyeshadow using a regular paintbrush you can easily find in a school supply holder. While the girls are doing their eye makeup, the jury is having real fun. Madame Shawl is trying out new methods of the beauty industry by using a pen instead of a hair curler. And Miss Rose is dancing right at her workplace. Meanwhile, the contest is going on. Miss Pumpkin applies eyeshadow using a plain spoon. She places the spoon on her eyelid and puts the shadow on top. Then she blends it out. Here it is! The jury is finally ready to announce the results. Miss Triangle gets the point. So this round results in a tie, four to four. Round nine, eyeliner. The girls have a ton of eyeliner ideas. For example, using a spring onion or a package of stickers. But the jury sees how easily they can cope with this challenge and decides to make it harder. The girls are not to use the right hand. How is it possible? The contestants are disappointed. Both of them are right-handed. Miss Pumpkin tries to draw a cat eye with eyeliner using her left hand. She almost pokes her eye. But eventually, she gets a pretty good result, although not perfect. Miss Triangle also uses her left hand, so she does winged eyeliner using an angled brush. She dips it into black eyeshadow and tries to apply it evenly, but it is not as easy to make with your left hand. The girls are not satisfied with the results. With these crooked winged eyeliners, you can go out only at night when nobody sees you. And what should they do now? Even the mirror on the wall can't answer the question. But the jury is satisfied with the results of this round. Each contestant gets the point. The score is five to five. We're coming to the end. The final round is ahead, and the challenge is not an easy one. Doing lip makeup like a pro. And the only condition is to not use a mirror. The contestants are confused. The judge takes away a mirror. What should they do now? Stella uses sticky tape, but not for taping her mouth shut. She tapes to outline her lips, and she fills them in with a bright color without leaving a single chance for the lip gloss to go out of the line defined with the tape. The jury is excited to watch what is going on. Once the lips are done, Stella rips off the tape. It's totally awesome! Miss Pumpkin does it in her own way. She applies lip gloss to a little tomato and uses it to do her lip makeup. Everything is great, but her lips look twice as big. The girls laugh at each other as they can't see themselves. And when Stella gives a mirror to Delicia, she refuses to see her own reflection. It's awful! It's time to sum up the results of the entire contest. The judges consult a lot and compare the outcomes. Finally, the winner is chosen. Miss Delicia Pumpkin wins the contest with the score 6 to 5. Hooray! She's even given a basket full of beauty products for her creativity and skilled makeup using the tools on hand. She should certainly take a picture to remember the moment. Miss Perfect Cat Eye 2018 pageant makes your dreams come true. Did you like our beauty pageant? Then write in your comments whom you supported and which makeup tools do you use. Do you also fill in your brows using a fork? And don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you don't miss the most interesting pranks and life hacks. Lip gloss with a jam, eyeshadow from a cookie, yogurt face cream? Your makeup is actually nutritious. Watch how to turn beauty goods into a sweet tooth stream in our new video. Tell me, pretty looking glass, nothing but the truth, I ask. When Belle the Beauty is talking to her best friend, the mirror, nothing can distract her. It's a perfect time to change her makeup bag.
Belle is confused. She sees what's inside. The makeup bag is full of beauty treasures. This eyeshadow, for example. Clean a broken makeup palette and make edible eyeshadow. Separate half of an Oreo cookie and crumble it nicely. Crush it with a pestle. Put the crumbs into a section of the palette and press it down. Fill the second section with the white Oreo filling and add edible pearl powder on top. Now, crumble a waffle. Mix a part of it with green food coloring and add a little bit more edible pearl powder. Put it in the third section of the palette. Mix the remaining waffle crumbs with Nutella and fill in the last container. Take apart a regular brush and make a handle from black sugar paste. Join the brush top with the new edible handle and put it in the palette. Belle opens up the palette. This eyeshadow is amazing, except for one thing. It doesn't work at all. It can't leave any trace. Is it an invisible spy in an eyeshadow disguise? And what about concealer? It is so mysteriously green. Crumble white nougat and take out all the nuts. Add green liquid food coloring. Put the nougat into a clean used concealer container. Form a kneaded shape and refrigerate it. My friend takes out the concealer and bites it off quickly. What is she doing? Does she want to improve the color of her teeth? Is this invisible eyeshadow also edible? She sniffs it. It smells tasty. Yummy! It tastes good as well. I can take the brush handle for the last bit. Belle has made a surprise gift for her friend. She swaps her real nail file for a sugar one. Round the corners of sour candy belts. Cover one side with sugar syrup. Join the belt to adhere. I'm in the midst of doing my nails. I need to file one of them. But a soft candy appears in my hands instead of a hard nail file. Maybe it's even better. I've gotten a little bit hungry while doing my nails. The nails have been done and the candies have been eaten. Belle is sneakily eating her croissant sitting on the staircase. But Calorie Police in the person of her watchful friend keeps her weight balance under control. She takes away Belle's croissant. All she's got is only tiny crumbs. Then Belle goes to the kitchen. She's looking for cookies hidden in the cupboard. Here they are, my treasures. But the weight control confiscates my cakes. Bye, carbohydrates. If you think it can stop Belle, you don't know her well enough. She has already found a perfect shelter in a bathroom with a cream jar. Clean a cream jar thoroughly and put yogurt into it. No one will ever find out that real yogurt is hidden in this jar. And as long as her persistent friend appears, she pretends that she applies the cream to her face and no one will suspect that there's anything wrong. Once a bathroom is a perfect place to hide with food, Belle decides to grab a bite of her lip balm. Mix water with gelatin. Add some condensed milk. Make cherry jelly in another container. Pour some condensed milk into a clean lipstick container using a syringe. Put the container into a fridge to let the layer harden. Pour the cherry jelly as the second layer and wait for this layer to cool too. Alternate the layers in this way. Belle opens up the balm and bites off a piece. And one more! So the balm finishes up very quickly. When the snack is over, she goes away, leaving the empty containers in the bathroom. And this is how she gives herself away. Her watchful friend figures out at once how Belle has managed to fool her. I'm reading a book while having tea with cookies. Belle doesn't like my cakes. She thinks a cookie without a filling is like a girl without makeup. But she's got a plan. She's going to apply lip gloss to my cookies to make them brighter and tastier. Add some water to jam. Fill a syringe with it and eject it into a clean double-sided lip gloss container. Add a drop of food coloring to condensed milk. Mix it and suck it into the syringe. 
Eject the colored condensed milk into the second half of the lip gloss container. I can't believe my eyes! Belle is applying makeup to a cookie, though it turns out to be regular jam. The jam lip gloss has definitely added a tasty tone to my cookie. Belle is sure that everything on the table is edible. Oh no! This is actually regular lip balm. Take mini waffle bowls and cut off the borders. Melt white chocolate. Add food coloring and cover the bowl with the colored chocolate. Decorate it with star-shaped sprinkles. Cover another bowl with the chocolate of a different color. Put in a semi-sphere-shaped lip balm and join the waffle bowls to look like a real container. Belle opens up the balm and applies it to her lips. Makeup isn't always edible, but something still is. I bite off a piece of the lid. It's a delicious waffle covered with chocolate. Some people come to the kitchen to have tea with cookies, and I've come to have tea with face powder and eyeliner. I take a spoon and eat what's inside my face powder container. Remove broken face powder from a container. Clean the powder compact nicely. Crumble cookies thoroughly. Put aside some crumbs. Add a little caramel topping and stir. Add pink food coloring to the crumbs and pour in some caramel. Put the colored crumbs into the powder container, layer by layer, and press it nicely. Cover it with edible pearl powder. Stop! Take a cookie, but my friend's powder is as good as traditional candies. And I can dip a cookie into the eyeliner. Don't be afraid, it's just chocolate. Melt white chocolate in a double boiler. Add purple food coloring and mix the substance. Put the chocolate into a clean eyeliner container and let it harden in a fridge. Mmm! My friend's makeup turns out to be really tasty. This is what the baked powder and then natural eyeliner mean. Belle is getting ready for a great party. It's taken her a long time to choose the right outfit. The only thing left is to do her makeup. This lipstick looks and smells delicious. She applies the bright lip makeup. Mmm! It tastes like sweet condensed milk. Clean an old lipstick palette nicely. Dissolve gelatin in water and add some condensed milk. Take aside a part of the liquid and put in food coloring. Pour the burgundy red condensed milk into the palette. Color another part in a different color. Make the last lipstick bright red. Put the palette into the fridge. Add a brush and it's ready. After having one bite of the lipstick, Belle can't stop. Be careful not to eat the entire palette. I take out a highlighter. Belle just needs some shine. But first, we will taste this beauty product. There is condensed milk inside again. Take a wiper out of an old used highlighter. Put in some caramel topping to condensed milk. Add edible pearl powder and some edible glitter. Mix it and put it into the vial. The condensed milk highlighter is a tasty thing. Belle starts to think that the entire makeup is like that. She is ready to taste the lip gloss. Don't do it! It's makeup! Belle's makeup's been done. She's glowing and happy. But if she wants to reduce shine, she should use oil-absorbing tissues. Cut rice paper so that it is of the same size as your beauty blotters. Put them in the package. The beauty blotters are breaking right in her hands. They turn out to be no smoothing but smashing. Certainly, since you should eat them and not correct your makeup with them. Did you like our edible makeup? Then write in your comments what you liked the most. Face powder out of cookies? Highlighter with condensed milk? Or chocolate eyeshadow? And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell to be the first one to find our new beauty tricks.